Hi. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. And I'm Jay. And we're super foodies. Sharing some of our culinary adventures and experiences with you. And every Tuesday, we post for Tuesday Tastings. And today, you guys are in for a treat. We are eating... Bento boxes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is a bento box, you say? It's like a lunch almost packaged in Japan. And it's like different layers of different types of food that make up a meal. So we checked this new place out. I'm sure if you guys have heard of Ennaka, the two-star Michelin restaurant here in LA, this is their other restaurant they just opened. It's called En Soto. So check it out, watch us eat it. Let's get started. Let's dig in. As you can see, it comes in such a pretty box. It's pretty heavy, but yeah, let's see what's inside. Packaging is pretty beautiful. Good. Comes with a little pamphlet here talking about Nikai, Japanese Americans, Ekiben, a taste of home. It's a little pamphlet. It gives you a little walkthrough of what we're eating. Here's a little bit of the menu. So at least we know what we're eating. All right, here is all the food unboxed, unpacked, and ready to be devoured. We're gonna bring you through this nice fine dining experience at home here and see if you guys wanna eat it yourself. So, comes with two layers. This is the top layer, this is the bottom layer. We'll go through each one. Yay! So excited. And first thing you do before you eat? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. It means bon appetit. Or thank you for this meal. Yeah, that too. So right here we have the chicken wing. It's Japanese fried chicken. We're gonna dig into this first. Mm. Oh wow. That's crunchy. Despite it being in a bento box, I mean, it tastes like a chicken wing. <laughs> Can't go wrong with fried chicken. Sorry, I'm gonna use my hands, make it easier for myself. Mm. Nicely well seasoned, I like it. We have this, which is, I think this is just the chicken teriyaki with a green leek onion. Good. Right? So it's nothing uh, too, Crazy, but let's give it a try. All right, cheers. Ow. Mmm, that green thing looks well, really good. The green onion, what is it? Yeah, it's green onion. Yeah, there's a nice flavor. Tastes like regular barbecued chicken. <laughs> yeah, the next one we're gonna do the salmon. This is salmon teriyaki. Salmon teriyaki, ooh, okay. So. It has a nice sauce layer in it. Oh, I put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh, okay. Mmm. <laughs> that yep. was really good. That this was sweet. Not overcooked and dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one is the shrimp bouillon. Um, this, it looks like a dim sum. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look at that. Mmm. There's like itty bitty mushrooms on the side. Mm-hmm, a little bit of mushrooms, has a little bit of like an egg mixture. Mm-hmm. And shrimp bits in there. Very interesting sauce. Very flavorful. Mm-hmm. That's the best one I like yet so far. This one is our lobster dynamite. So we're mm. gonna go that one. This is pretty standard. Um, oh, oh wow, it's what, like already broken. Where do you get in those uh, Japanese all you can eat style? Is it? I think so. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a dynamite roll or something. Typically it's made with like scallops, meat, and I think this one may be just Lobster meat. This one's my favorite. It's nicely flavored. A lot of mushrooms. This must be mushrooms, right? Yeah. Mushroom, mushroom. onion, lobster. Mm-hmm. It's not overly salty, but it does have like a, a chipotle mayo on top. 
Mm -hmm. Or, so we have the, this one is the beef sukiyaki with Hanjuku Tamago. Whoa, here, okay. Oh, I see the sukiyaki here. So this would be good with the rice. So we have like a little portion of rice for this as well. We can There's actually nudes on the bottom right over here. Yeah. So in a way, okay. So Are we eating the egg first? Sure. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh wow. This egg is like... Sweet. It's not sweet, but it has a definite like a flavor to it. I don't know, definitely soaked into something. And it has... Yeah, Hanjuku. Must be that. Okay, yeah, here sukiyaki. goes the meat, the nudes. So this is, if I were to compare this to something, if you guys know the Yoshinoya, this is like that similar type of meat, like that shredded beef. Why are you comparing Yoshinoya to a two-star Michelin restaurant chef? No, but it's like the same style of meat. Mmm. So good. And then the next one we're gonna do is this right here. It's called eggplant nasu. Oh. So it's pretty much, I feel like it's like a piece of eggplant that's just cooked in a specific way. Wow, that, look how nicely cut it is. That makes it very tasty. Hmm. Mmm, flavorful. Definitely. Salty, so I think this goes with the rice. I think it goes with, you can eat rice with anything you wanted in there as well. You just choose to eat it a little bit. I think separate. it tastes better with the rice because it's salty, it's definitely salty. It's like a nice, sour, acidic flavor, would you say? Yeah, it's like umebushi. What? The salted plums almost feel. Oh. And I think this, there's a yam here as well but it's not like listed on the... It's probably a little decoration to add to it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it anyways. Mm. This is probably worth like $3, you know? It's tasty, it's a sweet yam. Oh, it's sweet. So yeah, the Japanese sweet yam. It's like the miryaki, is that how you spell it? Say it. I feel like they must have seasoned this as well. It's so sweet, it's so good. It's like a dessert right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So the the winners of the top layer would probably be the dynamite one. The dynamite one, and what's the other one? The shrimp fu yum. I like those two. Let's have some soup. The tamago toji miso soup right over here. They do have heating instructions if you want to heat it up, but we just picked it up, so figured that's okay, warm because it's fresh. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. Mmm, authentic miso soup. Mm. If I wanted to do a comparison, I would compare this to like an egg drop soup mixed with miso soup. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. On to this bottom layer, guys. Let us start off with the Spam Masubi. You can never go wrong with Spam Masubi. Yeah, Spam Masubi. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Spam Masubi. We'll dig into this. This is the shrimp and avocado Inari sushi. Oh, that's huge. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow, that's very like. I'm speechless. Burst in your mouth flavor. Oh yeah. It's like sweet from this, you know, sweet tofu skin. And then when you bite into it, the avocado is like nice and mushy with the rice. And I think these are little um, cherry tomatoes on the top. So when you bite into it, it gives you this like citrus flavor. It's really good. It complements each other really well. Mm. Right. My favorite one so far of this top one, yeah. Bottom layer. Bottom one. Yeah. Okay, 
After that, we will eat this little square thing here. This is the Saba Oshizushi Gari with Shiso. And it says ginger with soy sauce. Say that 10 times real fast. <laughs> that would be... This is pretty chunky. It is a chunker, chunker guys. And it's, yeah, this fish is, looks really good. Mmm. Oh, what was that last bit at the bot at the end? Oh no, but it tastes good. It tastes really fresh. Next up, we're gonna have this tuna macaroni salad in this little cup here. It's a golden cup, dude. Fancy. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not big on tuna salad, personally. This one's not bad. You have like a hint of tuna. And it's not like overly doused with mayo. Mm hmm Like typical potato salads. It's like lightly coated. Not bad. After that, we will eat some green bean gourmet. Some green green gourmet contains peanuts. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this is good. Mmm, this one's good. It's like good. the peanut sauce with it. Mm -hmm. Very unique. Next up, I know guys, it doesn't stop, is the pickled cauliflower and Tokyo turnip. Cauliflower, yellow. Mmm. Pickled with the turnip. Oh wow. Mmm. Delicious. Let's do the ikira. So this is just like salmon roe inside a cucumber cup. Look how cute this cucumber cup is. Oh, so cute. Oh, yours is ginormous. Maybe mine was like the end of the cucumber. Look at that size difference. Mmm. Oh, this extra is good. Not overly salty. It's a nice explosion. And last but not least, we will be eating this daikon carrot salad with the ume panzu dressing. Okay, I'm gonna pour like 60% of it. Mmm. Mmm. It's sour. Mm hmm. Not bad. I like it. Definitely don't need the whole cup that they give you. Mm -hmm. So don't pour it all in, okay? Now we gotta move into the dessert section. Oh, no. Look at that. It's like a little gelatin and something on the side. And this is almond coconut cake with strawberry champagne and cream jelly. Wanna shoot it? Oh, okay. Or we can enjoy it, you know, of course, but. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is good. I wonder if you're supposed to eat it together, don't you think? Mmm. -mm. This is the coconut almond almond coconut cake, okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's definitely on the sweet side. This top part is like. Kind of tastes like frosting, like you would put on cupcakes or something. I think it's a little too sweet for my liking. The cream that they use, the frosting, you can really taste the cherry. Don't taste much of the coconut. Oof, guys, we devoured it. Nothing is here. Hope you enjoyed eating it. A little bit of background on Ensoto. Check it out. This is one of their new places that just launched on March 10th. Pre-order it online. Yeah, if you're interested in getting it, we're gonna provide the information in the description below. Sign up starts every Friday at noon for the following week for pickups. Jump on that if you want your reservation. Similar to Ennaka, but I believe once Ennaka opens up for their fine dining experience, all the bento boxes will come over here to Ensoto. Every six weeks or four. so, they'll have a different kind of course 
so it's not always going to be the same and this is kind of it's already second week that it's doing it mm -hmm. so by the time you watch this it will be the third week so jump in on that this was 65 bucks per box so a total of 130 but well worth it it was delicious some things i may not want some things i will totally get doubles and triples of yeah that, that would be pretty interesting if they do offer maybe a selection in the the future i know that during these times it's kind of hard to customize but maybe in the future when everything's back to normal they could kind of give you that customizable option for the bento box that would kind of give a, a new take on bento boxes if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe below and don't forget to ring the notification bell and we'll see you on the next one bye friends bye bye Quick shout out to my colleague Brenda, thanks for the recommendation.